get about anybody who's kind of all super skeptical. And natural wine is just a way of describing wines that are made with, you know, that are that go beyond organic, beyond biodynamic, and people who have a real philosophy of, of life. You know, you go and see them and they live. They, they, they grow their grapes like that. They don't use antibiotics. You know, they are really, and they're not hippies. That's the one thing I want to say. <laughs> These guys are not hippies. No, it's for my family, for my kids too. Again, so we come back to the same things that for the vineyards too, I think it's very important for what we will leave to the next generation. Um, it's a reflection we had with my father in 1998. Uh, we wanted to... It's not a business-minded... I don't know how it, it arrived, but uh, it came like that, which we were following in, in our way of life, the nature since uh, always, I mean, and, then, and the idea was... Uh, it's a bit complicated to explain in English, but uh, we wanted to. I'm not to say in French. It's a, it's a put our storm on the wall uh, to, 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 to to help uh, nature like that. And, and, uh, and as we were working with the nature, we said, well, why not trying something? And, and, and Chateau Fouquet was the place to do that because we have seven hectares in one parcel with no vine on the windy side. So uh, we thought it was a good idea to do that uh, there. And, uh, but exactly why we began, I think we were ready for that, that's all, it's, it was life, it's life, it came like that. Well, first of all, the, the origin of the story is interesting. When my father created the vineyards, he, uh, he wanted to do uh, something typical from Corsica. So when he's, he looked for very tall that was dis disappearing, and with this idea I thought, you know, I don't want to put barrel aging, so there's no, uh, we don't mask, we don't mask it. And with no barrels, you keep it in, in vask, uh, a concrete tank, in a cave that he created that was all by gravity. And because of that, there was very little oxygen. So when you have very little oxygen in wine, you don't need as much as uh, sulfur. Mm -hmm. And by, after that, since the wine were working that way, he understood that the white and mostly the red actually did benefit from being without oxygen. So our philosophy of aging the wine is very opposite to Bordeaux and Bourgogne. We don't try to do a lot of racking and we keep it keep it uh, uh, tight without oxygen. So that's the idea, the first philosophy. And then we discovered by practice that it was uh, more interesting for the wine and it had more aging capacity. There's nothing like the hippie. But what I mean is that they are very scientific and they know what they do and why they do it. Because it's taking, it's taking a lot of... Um, it's taking a lot... What I mean is that people say, oh, you know, it's like... It's, it's, I don't mean, sorry, hippie was probably the wrong word. What I meant was like, they're not careless. Or it's not about being lazy. It's about understanding that your vineyard can deliver so much more uh, and that's what you know, and that's what they're doing is they are understanding the science behind all of it and, and delivering really great wine. So, thank you. Oh my God, I'm stage fright. <laughs> <laughs>